people ask what's wrong with the world constantly. And if we do not know what our culture is, we cannot move forward. And part of this film is to identify what the last semblance of true North American culture and the dream was, which came out of here. The documentary film became, in the end, um, the Border City Music Project. And uh, the film, again, attaining kind of an ironic title in the fact that it's much more of a, of a socially, uh, a social statement than it is a, a documentary about music. Um, really, it identifies the modern monopolized media and its role and damaging effects it has on our culture and our youth. And the reason that um, we, and I use Windsor and Detroit is because we were at one time um, cultural uh, and manufacturing and uh, advertising leaders. Uh, we were leaders in the news. We were leaders on radio. We were leaders in music. Um, we were uh, a definitive population. It was going to be Dusty and I that are going to move this thing and we're going to go. We're going to take our 20 bucks across the border and with no credit card and no cell phone and we're going to do the best we can. We're going to do the best we can in the, in the most dangerous city in the, in the world. And, and we're going to do the best we can with these big, you know, legends and rock stars. And we're going to do the best we can. Little did I know that, you know, you know, our friendship gave me some ease to deal with Dusty and trust. And little did I know that he was going to bring as much as he did to the table. John had asked me, um, or told me about the film, asked me to, to, you know, give an interview and maybe be involved. And then I, I started looking at the list and I'm going, oh, that's interesting. What about all of these people? And what about Detroit? And what about these songwriters? And um, using the internet, uh, Facebook, as creepy as it is, it made a lot of musicians accessible to us. To get to have so many incredible people in one production, uh, the Tea Party, Big Sugar, Dick Wagner, Jim McCarty, Mark Farner, Alto Reed, uh, Tony D'Annunzio, Maruga. Maruga has become our spiritual advisor. <laughs> he's a priest, he's a yogi, and he's a lifetime member of Parliament Funkadelic. <laughs> what ends up happening is, is that their greatness, which is what I was hoping for, their glow, we took away from. We were able to take some of their energy. And what the statement will end up being is uh, about today and beyond. And where we can go um, is going to be up to the conversation that's generated after the film. Um, I definitely didn't come up with any answers because I think answers are divisive. And uh, this film starts the conversation um, that needs to be started. We want to change the conversation around the dinner table. Um, we want to get to that heads down generation. We need to stimulate the intellect of the bewildered herd.